Well, I think that the record of the county attorney's office in the last four years is a good one. Crime is down everywhere in Hennepin County. Juvenile crime, adult crime, violent crime, property crime. Democratic Visions is handmade in Eden Prairie and Minnetonka by DFL Senate District 42. Our guest is County Attorney Mike Freeman. Mike is incumbent Hennepin County attorney having served three terms and is seeking his fourth term this year. Mike, why uh, should the, uh, the people in Hennepin County elect you to a fourth term as their Hennepin County attorney? Well, I think that the record of the county attorney's office in the last four years is a good one. Crime is down everywhere in Hennepin County. Juvenile crime, adult crime, violent crime, property crime. There's a lot of good work being done in the community in crime prevention. Community groups, churches, uh, other individuals trying to work particularly with young people. Young people are a source of a lot of crime and we've done a good job. Police have done a good job in terms of rapidly and quickly and thoroughly investigating crimes. Yeah, but and I think the prosecutor's been pretty good too. What are there, uh, 160 lawyers in the Hennepin County Attorney's Office, plus or minus? Well, we're authorized to have 165, but with the budget cuts, we're down to about 156. And uh, then how many, how many other employees do you have in the office? About 340 total employees. It's the ninth largest law office in the state of Minnesota. And I will say to you, my friend, it's the best public law office without a question. Well, you're not getting anybody uh, challenging you at this table, I'll tell you that. You must be the equivalent of a CEO of, uh, of that uh, office. You know, you're kind of the operating partner. But uh, what's the budget for that office? Part. The budget's over $40 million. It's almost all personnel. I'm very proud that in each of the 12 years I've been county attorney, we balanced the budget. We've been in, in the black every year. We've been able to work with attrition, so we've not had any layoffs, but it's a very difficult management job. We have fewer lawyers today than when I left in 1998, and yet our crime, our overall caseload is up over 20%. Well, uh, just an interesting t statistic. I understand uh, because of the budgetary problems that uh, uh, employees of, the, of your office have been taking voluntary leave uh, w without pay. Well, we've had now, we're in the first year of a two-year pay freeze, and all the people in the office have been asked to take between two and four days of special leave without pay. And I'm pleased to report that the Hennepin County Attorney's Office had the largest percentage of people taking those, as you will, furlough days voluntarily, including the boss. You're in charge of uh, uh, law enforcement with this hand and you're fulfilling the uh, uh, county's civil obligations with the other hand. What's, what's the roughly uh, split between the office number-wise or percentage of time-wise spent on those activities? Yeah, great question. And on the civil side, we provide civil counsel, just like any general counsel of a corporation <laughs> would do. We also do child protection work. We collect, help collect over $125 million of child support. We do the mental commitment work. We also do all the juvenile prosecution from status offenses to murder. We do all the adult felonies. We have the leading office in the state in mortgage fraud prosecutions with some of the longest sentences in Minnesota history. Um, we do all our own criminal appeals. We're kind of a full service Law firm, we do everything except plaintiff's personal injury work. Let, let me uh, touch upon one of the things you mentioned there, child support. Uh, uh, how, how do you deal with that in this uh, uh, recessionary times that we find ourselves in? Don't, don't people, some people at least, uh, have difficulty uh, meeting their child support obligations? Our focus and our primary obligation is to make sure children have the resources they need to grow up. Um, most often the person paying the child support is a man. But we also try to recognize what the father can pay, and we want that father involved in the kids' lives. So it's kind of a balance. How much can they pay? How much can we help them pay? We have jobs calendars. We help fathers find jobs. We insist they pay something, but we also want to set it at the appropriate level so they'll be involved in their kids' lives. Every kid deserves a father. When you, uh, when you returned uh, to the uh, county attorney's office uh, in 2007, what initiatives did you bring to the table and do you have further initiatives that you uh, have yet to explore? Yeah, there's a, you know, there's a lot to do and even in the time of declining budgets, we have a lot to do. 
we weren't doing mortgage fraud prosecutions until I returned. It wasn't really the issue it is today. But we have been very successful, worked very hard on that. I revitalized our gang team, and last year our gang team had a 98% conviction rate. That's pretty high. We've also really worked hard on crime prevention ideas, particularly the idea of truancy. Every kid is supposed to go to school, and some parents... That's a state law. That's a state law, and some parents don't recognize that. We have one, a significant Somali population, and there is no free public education in Somalia. So there's not so a culture? There's not a culture in, in, in some folks. And so we work with them, helping them to understand that they're supposed to go to school. And we work with those parents to try to remove the barriers, particularly for the youngest children. 98% of the kids who commit a felony were truant first. And most of the kids who are truant at 14, 15, 16 committing those felonies started their truancy at ages 6, 7, and 8. So we've worked very hard, particularly in Minneapolis, targeting with an early intervention program to get the kids to school. And the county board asked us as of J January 1 to run all the truancy programs for Hennepin County. January 1 of this year? January 1 of this year. I see. And I'm really pleased that the superintendents of all the suburban school districts as well as Bill Green in Minneapolis have worked very closely with us. This is a good and innovative program. People are excited about it. In a time we have no new money, but we've retargeted the money with a simple message. A child deserves and needs to go to school. How can we help get that child there? Mike, I don't predict many elections, but I gotta say that uh, I can't see how we're not gonna be welcome you and as our uh, County Attorney for your fourth term starting in uh, 2011. Thanks for coming in, Mike. Thanks, Tim. Democratic Visions is handmade by volunteers for DFL Senate District 42. Visit our website or call NORB to connect with us.